everyone, it's Ashley here and I'm currently at the RSF Aeromedical Centre and this very special and unique spinning thing behind me is actually the Human Training Centrifuge and we will actually be able to learn uh, how exactly it helps our aircrew working in their flight environment and what exactly it does. So let's go check it out! Hi, I'm Major Dr. Sofan Wei. I'm the Head of Crew Safety and Flight Environment of the RCF Aeromedical Service. EFS Yoga is an acronym for Dynamic Flight Simulation Yearly Operational G Assessment. So it's a form of centrifuge training that we conduct for all our fighter aircrew. Our fighter aircraft such as the F-15 and F-16 are all 9G capable. When our aircrew is exposed to such a high G level, there's always the risk of uh, what we call G-induced loss of consciousness or g log in short. So we just introduced this DFS yoga this year. The traditional form of centrifuge training is basically we let the aircrew experience G of a preset level. Let's say we want to train them to 9G, so we set the machine at 9G. But we know that fighter flying is not like that. In air to air combat, it's actually a very task intensive job. Pilot need to maneuver the aircraft while monitoring the aircraft systems, making the weapon selection and also making radio calls. And actually we are one of the few air forces in the world that's introduced this form of training. We have uh, many ways of monitoring the air crew performance. We have uh, sensors in the centrifuge to measure the amount of muscle tensing strength that they use, uh, even down to their ECG to check their heart rate. Uh, so after the training session, uh, we will sit the pilot down, conduct a thorough debrief where we look at their straining level, their breathing patterns, their ECG patterns, and then we analyze which are the areas of, uh, for them to work on and improve on and what are the areas that they have done well. So I actually heard that I'll have an opportunity to try out this uh, DFS yoga program later. Yes. So uh, maybe we can uh, go straight into some of the techniques that I'll need for the, the NTG maneuvers. Okay, can. Yeah, Dr. Fong Wei, what are some of the AGSM techniques that I can employ while I'm in the simulator? Okay, so the MTG straining maneuver will prevent you from losing consciousness uh, because at high G levels, there will be inadequate blood flow to the brain. So the brain will shut down and then you'll lose consciousness. To prevent that from happening, there's two uh, maneuvers that we teach our air crew to do. The first is muscle tensing. Focus on all the muscles below the heart level. The quadriceps, hamstring muscles, the calf muscles, and also the buttock muscles. So by tensing every muscle in the lower limb, you compress the arteries and also the veins, prevent the pulling of blood at the lower limbs and also to increase your blood pressure. There's also a second portion, which is the breathing maneuver. Basically, it's a, a forced aspiration against a closed uh, windpipe. So we take a deep breath in, then we strain, uh, not letting any air escape from the throat. And we do so every three seconds. So at every third second, uh, we do a quick air exchange where you quickly breathe out and take a deep breath in rapidly, and then you close your throat and you strain again. So right now I have Colonel Desmond with me and he actually just undergone the DFS yoga program. So Colonel Desmond, how was your experience like? It's a routine experience for me. Like I've been in the uh, centrifuge more than 10 times. Mm -hmm. This is my first time like, doing the DFS yoga as well. Uh, what we used to do in the past, like pretty much we were led by the machine. It will spin right, to the appropriate Gs and we react right, to the G-forces that are imposed on our body. The new profile so, like, allows us to initiate right, and moderate the Gs. gives a lot more active and engaging experience in how we pull the Gs and how we react to them. Kind of mimics what we uh, do in flight for air combat. The purpose of centrifuge really is for our, to help us feel like our G thresholds, our tolerance. It also helps us uh, recognize the symptoms all right, so that we can start doing the corrective actions at an earlier stage so that we don't get incapacitated. So sir, I actually heard that there's this condition that air crew will get which is called uh, G measles. Most of us uh, do get it. Uh, it is an after effect of the uh, centrifuge training. Uh, basically what happens is that your capillaries get overwhelmed all right, and what happens as a result is uh, your blood vessels will rupture all right, and uh, it looks a little bit like measles. Uh, over time they may be a bit more pronounced mm -hmm. and with more time they will just uh, disappear. Like, I don't think there's any health concerns. Okay. <laughs> so I just got my ECG uh, put on me and uh, this is how they will track my heart rate as well as my performance later inside the computer. Let's go! So what we have here is the latest time machine that we have in the RSAF. It's a top secret thing, so don't tell anybody. Ashley going in first to try it out and if she comes back, or maybe she doesn't come back, then we know it works. I 
even though I was uh, inside and I wasn't flying uh, any profile, they were doing the flying for me, it was already very, very hard to keep my focus and uh, make sure that I don't black out. I already experienced a slight tunneling of vision even though I was only pulling up to uh, 4Gs. Uh, and this is actually a very humbling experience because our fighter aircrew can actually pull up to 9G when they are flying in real life or even in this uh, HTC. And I was just straining to remember all the AGSM techniques. Luckily, I didn't uh, faint or puke or anything which was less embarrassing for me. But still, kudos to the aircrew for being able to uh, multitask, fly the profile inside the simulator as well as remember all the techniques to ensure that they have a safe and successful mission. And also kudos to uh, the team here as well for providing our aircrew with this uh, realistic training experience. So overall, mission success! So in this chamber, what we do is to expose them to 25,000 feet. That is just slightly below the, the height of Mount Everest. Hey, hey, I'm over here. Can you see me? Over here. Okay, and we are going to approach 100. I'm rotating to get air bomb. Don't chill. 